YouTube. It's your boy, Life of Coach D. I decided to do something a little different today. I'm going to stay here at the school. Y'all can see it zeroed out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this walk. We call this the back row. It's pretty good distance. So I'm going to go ahead and walk this out real quick and see just how far it is. And then I'll be right back with you, fellas. All right, fellas. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but I just walked that off. And we're looking at 1,102 feet. So from where I'm about to start to where I'm going to stop and turn it around. So it's just shy, just shy of 1312, but that gives you kind of an idea of what range we're looking at and seeing if seeing if it's going to be able to do it. So I'm going to turn the GoPro back on. Once I get the battery strapped in, radio turned on, we'll let y'all know how it goes. All right, fellas, one more thing. I don't know if y'all can see it or not right now, but right now I am not using the gyro. The gyro is not turned on, right? So like I said, I don't know how good of a shot this is gonna be um, if you guys are able to see this. So you hold down and then go to gyro. So right now gyro mix is on, VR mode is on, the rate is at 100%. So in order to turn the gyro on, on the car, and I don't have any tools with me at the moment, so the way you do that is you pop open the receiver box and I, I really wish I would have brought my tools with me, but you'd open up the receiver box and on the button on the receiver, you hit that twice. You double tap it twice and it, and it initiates the gyro um, to be able to be used. But again, as you can see, gyro is not on right now, right? Um, all right, fellas, so here we go. You can see the distance that I'm trying to go. So let's see. Man, it's hard to see. It's like a little hill down there and I can't. Now it's in the shade, I really can't see it. Oh man, that's it. I know y'all probably can't see it either, so it's real difficult. Man, that's whew. gotta try to bring her back without breaking nothing. There we go. Lord, boy, that's Man, listen, that fellas, that got some good range on it, but this definitely wasn't the best spot for me to choose to pick to do this. Good night. But yeah, man, as you can see, it, it, it I was, I, I, like I said, 1,100 feet from where I am all the way down to the very end, right there where the sun uh, starts to touch open again. So I didn't hit the full 1,312 feet but this is just to let you guys see uh radio link as far as range test goes this thing has awesome range like i said it was just hard for me to see it that far down um away from me especially with the shade so i'm gonna take this thing out to our track and just go around the track a few times to kill this battery out so we'll be back yes sir i'm gonna take it around the track
blind spot. Up. Ooh. All right, listen, it's hard to judge these turns. Definitely got to turn the brakes down. They are up super high. Mm. Might be overheated. Well, that's going to be the end of that video. So, again, range test went pretty good. Um, You know, like I said, I don't have the gyro on. So um, again, all you have to do is just open up the receiver box, double tap the button uh, on the receiver twice within one second, and that'll activate the gyro. Also, um, if you have a vehicle that has uh, two twin engines, twin engines, so boats, tanks, um, anything that has a dual engine on it or twin engine you can uh, set any channel on your radio to control right so I wish I could show you guys that right now um, but again I don't know if you can see it on the radio or not um, so we go into menu and right here where it says PMI X01 PMI X02 right so you can set this channel to channel 3 and then you can and then you can go back go down and you can set this PM, PMI X02 to channel 4 so one can control the other um, that's another good feature with this radio like I said, I know I didn't go into too much detail about that, but again, tanks, boats, anything with a twin engine um, that can be used for. Um, so far, so good. Like I said, I like the way this feels. Um, it honestly feels just as good as my DX5C. Um, so $59.99 for the RC4GS, $16.99 for the receivers. Like I said, I'm gonna stock up on those. Yeah, and brakes are up high, high. So, appreciate you guys watching this range test video and just me out here goofing around on the track. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, dislike. Hey, it's your boy, Life of Coach D, and we out.